Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and today we're going to be helping out a fellow Seattle YouTube producer by the name of Eugene. He has a YouTube channel called Comic Shop TV, and he does all kinds of really, really cool skits and some really funny stuff. Well, recently at a YouTube meet, I actually got to meet the guy in person, and he's working on a project right now that he finally funded uh, through Indiegogo. And uh, it's called Cube. It's basically going to be a movie about a pro gamer versus like his friend that pissed him off and there's going to be a love interest. Anyways, it's going to be a cool movie and it's going to be a lot of special effects and stuff like that. But one of the things he was budgeting for was some 3D printed props for his movie. So we're going to go ahead and print those up for him right now. I see you! All right, so when I met up with Eugene in Seattle and we talked a little bit about this project and I told him I could help him out with the 3D printing, um, it's going to allow him to do a little bit more with his movie because he did fun to buy a 3D printer and have to print some of these things himself, and that would have been really expensive. So now he can put that money into the movie, which I think is cool. And hopefully, Eugene, you're going to give me a little cameo, right? A little Stanley cameo? Yeah. But anyways, I just gave him my email address and I said, hey, email over the files, and he did. He sent me a couple of STLs to print out the props, and it was as simple as just slicing them up in Cura and sending them to the printer. So here, I'm going to show you some of the printing, and then I'll show you the finished product. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to film all of these being printed. I ran into some technical problems. You got to see a few of the blocks get printed, but three of the blocks came out flawlessly, and I actually ran out of white material, so I had to use some of the silver PLA, which I really, really like. But here, these are like cubes. They're not all that dissimilar from like portal cubes. Um, you know, it, but they basically, this one has like a zero one on it. And I honestly don't know the significance of these in the storyline. I'll have to wait to see the movie script in the movie, just like the rest of you guys. And I have one here that has like a little, uh, little angel or butterfly on the side of it. And we have this one here that looks like it has kind of like a squid on it. And I'm going to ask him more today. I'm going to actually vlog, uh, with him today when I go to drop these off. So hopefully I can get some more information out of them. But unfortunately one of the cubes did not print successfully overnight. I had a material feed issue. You can see where the nozzle got blocked up and it stopped printing. It basically just went around and around and it never actually finished. So this cube is not going to make it. Now, if he needs it to complete the movie, um, I can absolutely reprint this cube. That's not gonna be a problem. Now, another thing to note was this was actually printed in just regular old PLA, uh, nothing special about it. And this one was also printed in PLA nothing special about it. It's just, you know, regular PLA like you'd have on a 3D printer. But this guy right here was actually printed in a new material um, from ColorFab. It's actually XT and it has a melting point of 260C, which is incredibly high. That's like basically the same melting point as like ABS plastic. So this would be an awesome plastic to print something that had to stand up against heat and not get soft um, as quick as like PLA would uh, or PLA PHA. And I was really surprised to see that this stuff, I had to actually run the print nozzle up to, or I shouldn't call it the print, the hot end. I had to run the hot end of the printer uh, up to 260C to get this to lay down consistently. So it is a very tough plastic. It feels, when you feel them side by side, it feels like it's got a little bit more weight to it than the PLA does. And it feels a lot stronger. So I'm actually gonna be doing a lot more printing with this, uh, this new ColorFab XT material because it's just, it just seems so much more durable and heavy weight than the PLA that as long as uh, my hot end can handle running at 260C, which it shouldn't be a problem on the Ultimaker V2, um, or even my Robo 3D with E3D hot end. And it'll just produce something that, you know, I could leave in my car and it's not going to get soft if it gets really, really hot in the sun or something like that. 
especially if it's black. I printed something in black once and left it in my car, and I went to pick it up, and it was sitting in there. I mean, it was literally almost too hot to touch, but my fingerprint actually, like, stayed in it. Like, it actually indented because it got soft. PLA is not a good material um, if you're dealing with something where there's a heat source. So if you're printing things like gears and stuff like that that uh, create friction and things, I, I would recommend the XT material. So here are the three cubes that you will ultimately see in Cube Movie. If you want to know more about the Cube Movie project that Eugene and Comic Shop TV is working on, go ahead and look at the links down in the description. I have a link to um, some of their technical demos and their main Indiegogo campaign so you can see what they were actually doing and trying to fund and hear from some of the actors and stuff about the script. It's actually a cool project, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Well, Eugene, I really hope you enjoy these props and that you can do the finish work on them and everything and make them work in your movie really good. And I am looking forward to it because, one, I want to see all your After Effects stuff that you do because I think it's really cool, some of the effects that you did in your technical demo, and I want to see that, like, applied with my 3D prints on the silver screen. Or I probably shouldn't say the silver screen. I should probably say, like, the YouTube computer screen. I don't know. Is this thing showing up at Sundance? But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this 3D printing video. There's more 3D printing videos on the way because I know that you guys really, really enjoy them. Now I'm going to go and deliver these to Eugene after I juggle with them. Never mind. Hello, who is there? <laughs> Get him, boys. <laughs> Get him. Oh, shit. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.